I want you guys all, the first thing you, I need you to do is uh, look to your person beside you, give, you, give them a high five. Because you guys, you came, yeah, nice, nice, nice. You all came here today, and by being here today, you made a difference. Oh, give me one moment. All right. I got it. All right, where's my little uh, thing? I guess it's not working. So I'm here to talk to you guys today about, oh, you can sit down. <laughs> I just like kind of doing that. All right, we got to go back, we got to go back, we got to go back. So I'm here to talk to you about this, art. We all know that art is power. We all know that uh, a tune can change the world. But if it can really change the world, why hasn't the world changed as radically as we would love it to? So what is the relationship between the artists, <clears throat> big business, and social change? And how can we shape these corporate cultures through art and collaboration? Now, you know that feeling you get you know, when you, uh, you, just, uh, you just came from a concert, or you, you saw a show that was amazing, or you just killed it at karaoke? You know what I mean? <laughs> that, I know. Feel it. <laughs> so when you do that, how do we sustain that? How do we sustain that feeling and pass it on? Because that is that moment. That is that moment of inspiration. Now, what we can't do is be laid back and apathetic. It's just, it's just no time for it, you know? And we've got to change the conversation. We've got to change this blame game of, you did this, I did this, what are you doing, you know? We're in a time where there's so much urgency, and at the same time, beside the urgency, is this massive, massive opportunity and ability to really engage and to do something that's never been done on the planet. And you know, if we don't do it, it's hectic. So we gotta step up, and each and, up, each and every one of us has a responsibility. Now I come from the place of um, you know, working with a lot of artists, and artists, of course, have a responsibility. And for them, it starts, you know, you can't take the art out of heart. The creative place, you come from this place inside and you give to the world, and when you give and give and give, you get, you know? But when you, when you come from that space, you, you, you be, we have this idea that if it's the right thing to do, if it's just the right thing, that everybody's gonna listen, and it's just gonna happen. I'm sorry. People check for Kane on because he's a bad man. The guy worked hard on his craft, he's a great songwriter, he's a great artist, and his words inspire. But he, has, he had to hone his craft. Now we're all artists, we're all creators. So you gotta hone your craft. You gotta get better and better and better at what you do. Now, there's power in each and every artist. We can culturally, boom, affect and impact people. Now, what about the corporations, big business? There's been this thing when I was a kid, you know, it was like the thing you would do, the corporations were the big bad guy, and you would just go out there and you would like get a, a sign and be like, you're bad, you're bad. We gotta change that. We gotta change that because in this time, in this sense of urgency, the same people that got us there, even if you're the worst offender, they will be the biggest ones to actually help affect change. Then you get that top-down, bottom-up thing, it connects in the middle, and things actually start to happen. Recently, um, Melinda Gates referenced our campaign with Coca-Cola in her TED Talk last week. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but it keeps going to voicemail. I want to talk to her about it, but it's strange, I don't know. <laughs> Call me back. Um, <laughs> you know? Um, the thing she said that was very interesting is that we localized that song, Waving Flag. We had tw uh, 22 versions of the song around the world, and by localizing at the grassroots level, it expanded outwardly, and it became a global movement, which is very interesting. But I've been thinking about you know, that corporate responsibility, and if the Coca-Colas and the massive companies of the world have this massive reach, why are we over here in the social change sector trying to rebuild what they already have? The day that these companies start to deliver medicine and they start to deliver these, you know, alongside their product is the day that um, things will really start to change. And I'm talking about a new blue chip. For, you know, from the time I've, I've been growing up, the blue chip is just about money, money, money. But we need to change that relationship, like I said, and we need to come with a new bottom line, a triple bottom line of people, planet, and profit. Because if it don't make dough, it don't make sense, but if it don't make sense, then it don't help the people, so you gotta keep it moving. Now, woo, look at that. Leadership, <laughs> I know I'm pretty impressed with this thing. <laughs> Leadership, we, we've been sitting in this time of, uh, of leaders that, uh, that 
for whatever reason, you can basically be a jerk. Maybe a douchebag, whatever one likes to use the word. You can be this guy that, or this, this woman, this person who's in this position, but if you have money and power, you're kind of exonerated from having responsibility. We have to change that. We have to demand different things of our leaders. We have, we're all leaders, we all move forward. And if you're a different leader, you have to change the relationship. We've been sold an idea that you create abundance by gathering, 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 gathering. When in fact, the universal law states that you create abundance by giving. So you gotta give, you gotta give a little more, and then you gotta give some more, because you don't really have anything until you give, nothing at all. Now, do we wanna sit back and just be kinda cool, credible, or do we wanna be incredible? Do we wanna be known as this generation that actually steps forward, that actually affects radical change on the planet, looks fly, has fun, and does it? To make change, it doesn't mean that you separate yourself from what you do. You just engage further in your passion and what you do and move it forward. You gotta be a facilitator, not an agitator. We can't do this us and, you know, us and them. Us and them, them and us, it's justice. This is a justice issue. We're dealing with human rights issues, and if you're dealing with human rights issues, then you have to be a human. So, I've been asked about this thing about action. How do you make real change? I don't think you do change. I think you just be a better human. You gotta be a better human, because living is giving. You gotta go so, so hard. You gotta show up every day and bring your passion, your electricity, your vibrancy, your unique ability, your God-given thing to, your, to what you do. So I salute everybody here for coming today. I salute you for taking the time to come here, but it's not just today, it's about tomorrow and way forward. So they say be the change, just be it right now. You're doing it right now. Be human, keep, keep living, keep giving. Thank you very much.